Hey guys, what's up? This is Bansire Dragon, and today we're going over the top 5 mid laners for solo queue. Now this video is going to be really quick since not much has really changed in the mid lane, and if you really want a detailed description of the champions I just listed, please look to the previous video which will be in the description below. Alright, so previously we had Yasuo at number 5, but with the recent nerfs I do feel like he's kind of falling out of flavor, and so right now there are better mids. So obviously Xerath and Ziggs are like the same champion, they both have poke, um, they have an ultimate that's global, and yeah, they're basically the same champion. And Orianna is also up there with them, but what she does like is her poke with her medium range abilities, but she does make up for it with her great team fight presence. I do like Ziggs or Xerath are tied for number 5. So in my last tier list I had Lucian, but obviously he got nerfed and he's not OP as he was before, and yeah, he's just your standard AD carry who should be bot lane. With that being said, Fizz does take number 4, and yeah, Fizz just gets a little bump up because there's someone better than him right now, so he's replaced from number 3 to number 4. And like I said before, I do feel like the assassin meta is coming back with the exhaust nerf, so it's going to be pretty easy to kill people now. And so at number 3, I did have Fizz before my last tier list, and coming to replace him at number 3 is Twisted Fate. Although even though I do feel like it is an assassin meta and Twisted Fate does fall off to assassin since he's easily killed by them, um, I just still feel like that Twisted Fate in the right hands is still godlike, as he does bring global ganking utility to his team and a bunch of other things like split pushing, wave clear, etc. I'd watch out though if you're picking him into assassins though. And last time we did have Twisted Fate, but now he's replaced by Ari. So Ari got some minor buffs which obviously made her a bit better. But what's going on right now is, fuck, she is strong. Like, have you ever seen one of those mids play Ari, like Shifter? Holy shit. They can carry a game, literally. Like, what I see from Ari players is, if they charm someone, that player is dead. You land your full combo on someone, ignite them, and they're gonna die. And so she's always had extreme mobility with her three ultis to catch up to people, so it's really easy for her to pick people off. And you know, the things I don't like about her is if you aren't a god with her or like really good at her, then obviously you're going to be a bit lackluster as I do suck with her and I know I suck with her. And so I do find her really hard to play since she is so skill shot reliant. But Ari is really good in the right hands. And the number one is still Talon. Uh, so compared with Ari, they're both assassins basically. But the thing with Talon is, well, there's really no counterplay to him since he has a silence and a bunch of gap closers. And so it's really easy for him to get kills. Like, I guess the only counterplay to him is his stealth, and you get a pink ward and kill him while he's in the stealth. But yeah, he's kind of similar in Ari and Fizz in that assassination way. Although there's one con I hate about Talon is, since you are AD, this can lead to full AD comps where your top is AD and your jungle is AD, and then you just lose late game because you have an all AD comp. And he does have a weak early game. Other than that, he's still really strong, he's a really good roamer and assassin, and can really carry games by himself. So hey guys, thank you for watching. I know this is a short video, but that's because I don't really want to go in depth on the champions since I've already gone in depth on them. So if you really want to see, check out the previous tier list on mid laners below in the description. And yeah, this video is just a basic update to mid laners for patch 4.13. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.